April 6, 1917, Washington, D.C. The U.S. officially enters World War I, and the United States shipping board is like, oh, shit, we need some boats. Specifically, they need merchant ships to carry food, supplies, guns, and ammunition. So they create the Emergency Fleet Corporation and name Theodore Ernest Ferris its chief architect. He goes on to design this lovely 270-foot wooden ship, which, after much thought, he decides to call the Ferris Wooden Ship. He then orders 703 of them to be made. One of the shipyards chosen to build them was in Orange, Texas, about 100 miles east of Houston on the Louisiana border. The city was renowned for building wooden ships, thanks to its plentiful supply of timber and skilled labor, as well as its many sawmills. They began turning out the Ferris ships, as well as other designs, aiding immensely in the war effort. But when the war ended in 1918, the builders were left with a bit of a problem. There were 16 boats that were finished, but were no longer of use to the U.S. military. Selling them wasn't an option either, because by that point, steel hulls were in demand. No one wanted to shell out the money to store them at a port facility, and no one wanted to take the time or money to dismantle them. So they made the logical conclusion to just sink them all. Look what you made me do! This is how these strange, ghostly-looking ship holes ended up in the Conway Bayou on the Sabine River. No, they're not the wrecks from some long-forgotten naval battle in the Civil War, just the odd decision made by someone who wanted to cut costs. They do make a nice fishing spot, though. What's your favorite shipwreck story? Any odd wrecks near you? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's YouTube channel for more strange Heartland history. I'm Christopher Pilney.